वेलकम बैक टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ डेंटल पाठशाला वेयर वी हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न डेंटिस्ट्री बेटर एंड इजी वे एंड टुडेस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर व्हाइल द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द टीथ टेक प्लेस सो बिफोर द इरप्शन व्हाइल द टीथ इज स्टिल डेवलपमेंट सो व्हाट एवर द डिजीज व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द डेवलपमेंटल डिफेक्ट्स सो इफ देयर इज एनी एबनॉर्मैलिटी इन द डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट इफ व्हाट इट कैन कॉज सो वी विल बी स्टडीइंग ऑफ कोर्स द रीजन आल्सो एंड द डिजीज एंड इट्स फीचर्स एज़ वेल सो टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द डेवलपमेंटल डिफेक्ट्स और एनॉमलीज व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद द टीथ सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Hello friends welcome to our new 10 in 10 series where we cover each topic under 10 headings in 10 minutes and these most important topics are frequently asked in 10 marks questions so guys today's topic is the amelogenesis imperfecta which is an important topic frequently asked question and before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos and talking about hereditary disturbance of enamel formation as the name suggests amelo a we have to take the word a of hindi so a is the amelo and a is the enamel so you have to think accordingly that there is little or no formation of the enamel see the difference between amelogenesis imperfecta this is not the point right i'm just telling you the difference between amelogenesis imperfecta and the dentinogenesis imperfecta is that in in amelogenesis imperfecta there will be no formation of the enamel while as in dentinogenesis imperfect imperfecta there will be impaired formation of the dentin so enamel will be almost absent in the amelogenesis imperfecta but dentinogenesis imperfecta when we will be talking about in the next video that there will be irregular formation formation of the dentin in that so there will be there may be more formation compared to the normal in case of dentinogenesis but amelogenesis imperfecta the formation of enamel is little or no so this is basically a hereditary disturbance it has a genetic predilection so it passes from one generation to another so this is what we tell hereditary it is a disorder of enamel in which there is little or no formation of the enamel so as we always talk about our first point is always the definition and the see there is little or no formation of the enamel that means either enamel is going to be thin or there will be no enamel right but dentin pulp cementum everything will be normal in case of amelogenesis imperfecta so when you look at the radiograph only enamel is going to be thin but rest of the things suppose this is the thin enamel but rest of the things are normal in case of amelogenesis imperfecta so normally the process of enamel formation occurs in three phases three stages right the stage of matric formation the stage of early mineralization and the stage of maturation so according to that we are dividing the amelogenesis imperfecta into four types now there are uh, somewhere around 18 subtypes but we are not going into that much detail because we are going in, into the types so basic types are the type one is the hypoplastic type so that is the c first we should understand the stages of uh, the stages of enamel formation what are the normal stages of enamel formation first stage is the enamel matrix formation that means the matrix of the enamel is laid down in the first stage the second stage of enamel formation is the early mineralization that means some of the enamel it get eaten up and there is mineralization of the enamel then there is maturation so when the the when the enamel is mineralized then it get matured so these are the stages when any of these stage get impaired or affected then there is amelogenesis imperfecta right so the hypoplastic stage there is it the stage of matric formation is affected now th that means this type of disease is going to affect the formation of the enamel right so when there is absent enamel when there is no enamel formation only in that case of amelogenesis imperfecta is because the matrix of enamel has not laid down 
See, if the enamel is not there, then how will it mature? How will it calcify? How will it mineralize? Right. So the first stage, early stages, because when this stage is laid down, that means there is no enamel itself. So that is the hypoplastic stage when there is thin or absent enamel in case of hypoplastic stage. So the type two is the hypomaturation stage. So in this stage, the enamel is thick. Uh, the enamel thickness is normal. But what happens in this case, the enamel doesn't have the normal hardness or translucency. That means there is no hardness of the enamel. Enamel is not hard. Enamel is not translucent. So how will the tooth appear? It will appear like a snow capped tooth. That means the tooth appears like there is a snow capping because the white opalescent enamel is present at the incisal area. So this kind of the early stages of hypomaturation type. See, this is our type A. So if you see our point A, it is this only early type two stages leads to white opaque flecks at the incisal areas, which gives the appearance of snow capped appearance. So snow capped appearance is very important. That is why we have discussed in two points out of ten. So that is the significant particular feature, typical feature of the amelogenesis imperfecta that in cases of early hypomaturation type of amelogenesis imperfecta because of the hardness and translucency of the enamel is lost then that's why that there is a white opaque flex which appears on the incisal area which gives the appearance of the tooth like a snow is capped onto the tooth because it is so white. I will show you pictures in the end. So this is known as the snow capped teeth appearance. Now since the hardness and the translucency of the enamel is lost. So once you take the explorer tip. Once you put the explorer tip. You put some pressure on the teeth. Then the teeth will get pierced. An indent will come. Suppose this is the side surface of the teeth. right? And if you put the explorer tip. Then what will happen? There will be a piercing. So the tooth will become, the tooth will become like this. So this is the tooth. And once you put the explorer tip, now what will happen? The tooth will become like this. So there is going to be the piercing because of the soft, because of the, the enamel has lost the hardness. Enamel has lost the tooth translucency. Coming to the type 3, which is the hypocalcification type. So hypocalcification type is when there is a disturbance in the process of early mineralization of the enamel. So, since the enamel is not mineralized, so there is hypocalcification, right? So, also this enamel is going to be soft, but thickness will be normal. See, because enamel has formed in the initial stage, in the stage of matrix formation. So, the, this stage was normal. Stage of matrix formation was normal. But the stage of mineralization is affected. That means hardness won't be there. Mineralized means the enamel has formed into a tight mass, right? Hard mass. So this is not mineralized. That is why the enamel is soft in a type 3 kind of amylogenesis imperfecta. Type 4 we have is the hypomaturation, hypoplastic. See, both of the feature will be present. Along with that, it is seen in the torodontism. So type 4 is hypomaturation, hypoplastic with the torodontism. Torodontism we have already covered in our 5 in 5 series. So it is a bull shaped teeth, right? So also T for torodontism and T for trichodento osseous syndrome. So also hypomaturation, hypoplastic type of enamel is seen in amylogenesis imperfecta. It's seen in trichodento osseous syndrome. So coming to eight point is the type to early stages gives us a white opaque flex appearance at the incisal area. It's like, you know, this tooth is capped with the snow. So there is white, white, like, very white color, bright white color will be present at the incisal area. So it will give us like the teeth is capped with the snow. And the color of the tooth in case of amylogenesis, always remember, amylogenesis imperfecta, only the enamel is altered. Dentine, pulp, uh, cementum, everything rest is normal. Remember this, only enamel is thin or no enamel. So the color is going to be chalky white or it can be yellow or dark brown. There can also be pitting present on the teeth area. And what is seen is because see there is lack of formation or early loss of enamel is there. So because of that, there are, are the contact point in the proximal area are mostly open. So the, uh, between the two teeth, once you look at between the two teeth, suppose the teeth were supposed to be like this, right? But now what happens? There are open contact points like this teeth because of the early loss of the enamel. So there are open contact points at the proximal areas. 
and also anterior open bite is also seen in case of the because see atresion anterior open bite is mostly because of the atresion remember this atresion is present because of the weakness enamel is weak so uh, the tooth get atrated so easily and because of that there is a anterior open bite which is also seen so guys this is about the amelogenesis imperfect the important point is that first and most important is there is little or no formation of the enamel we have then types four types of amelogenesis imperfect the hypoplastic type hypocalcification type hypomaturation type and hypoplastic hypomaturation with the torodontism type now the enamel is soft cheesy ha huh? and when we put the probe into the enamel so the, the enamel can be pierced even with a probe right uh, and even the uh, hardness of the enamel is not there right so and the tooth often appears chalky white and this kind of appearance which is seen mostly due to early involvement of hypomaturation type this type of appearance is known as the snow capped teeth so always remember the snow capped teeth appearance because of the enamel so there is lack of enamel and this lack of enamel will result in the atresion anterior open bite and open contact point between the proximal areas so beside enamel the other structures dentine cementum and pulp are absolutely normal so what should be our treatment the treatment is we are going to give the veneering because the aesthetic is impaired right so in order to provide a patient with a good looks we are going to give the composite veneering to the patient so guys this is about amelogenesis imperfecta i hope that you guys are clear with the video and if you have enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up also you can comment in the comment section below and in the description below there is a link to support me on patreon as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes available to you so guys till then take care keep studying keep learning stay motivated and i'll see you soon guys in the next video